I heard that I did. Yeah, I had to wrap that one up right there as you uncued. I had to wrap that one up as you uncued, man. Probably did the same thing on your end as well. As I know we was running up on that dog on uh, last second. <laughs> but you know, we got it going on again, ain't no doubt. But yeah, dude, you know, and that's ridiculous that, uh, you know, they get out there and they act a fool like that because, you know, I, I truly, I truly think they would enjoy it because they did, so why wouldn't they enjoy it some more? You know what I mean? But, you know, God bless Tijuana Mama and all the other women out there on the airwaves that, you know, get into doing what we do. You know, that's like, uh, I contacted my niece. My niece lives uh, down in uh, Alabama, and uh, I want, I'm hoping maybe she hooks something up, man. She got on my YouTube page. She didn't know, she had no idea that uh, I was into doing this stuff like I do. And she checked out them YouTube videos, man, and she was like, <laughs> she said, I can't believe them big antennas that you got, and the radio station on top of it, you know. I told her, I said, well, hook you up a radio, you know? Take and hook you up a radio. You just call me if you need help or whatnot. You know I'm going to tell you how to do what you need to do. So uh, I'm not positive, but I think she might be down there around Skip Shooter. Or she might be down there around Camp Daddy or 007 or, uh, you know, some of the Good Time Gang. I'm sure of that. And, uh... Her better half can hook up with them, man. Maybe hook up a set of beans or something. Heck, I'll build a set of beans, man. I'll send them down there to them and uh, have her man put them together and uh, put them all in the sky, man. I'll even send her something special, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but by what I've heard, they can afford to do it on their own, which I'm real thankful I'm real glad that uh, they're doing real good. They're, I guess they're doing pretty well off, man, and I'm, and I'm real, real happy to hear that. But she knows if she needs any help with that radio, you know, get a hold of me, and I'll hook her up with somebody down there. You know that's right. I, I, I'll call up Cat Daddy. I'll, I'll get a hold of uh, uh, 007 down there. I'll get a hold of somebody there. What's that? <laughs> well, uh, that's what we do, man. I've gotten phone calls. I've gotten phone calls from people before my age, 44, and there's a guy in California. He's, a, he's about 30 miles from you, man, and he's a hand. Uh, I'm the first person I thought of. You think you can get the guy and say, hey, give me his number. Give me his cat make a number. I'll call him up. I've done it. I've done it a few times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. I know exactly what you're saying, man. It's it's almost like a dying breed anymore. So the more we can get involved, the more uh, better off it will be. Yeah, the more we can get in there, you know, that's like I had a young cat jump in there last night. We was all BSing and whatnot, and uh, he don't live too doggone far from where I'm at. But he found it real bad, man. I'm like, dude, what are you doing over there, you know? Youngster, man, 17-year-old kid. And I'll, if I can, I'm going to take him under my wing, bro, you know? I'm going to take him under my wing, and I'm going to do everything I can to get him to understand this doggone radio world. Hopefully he don't plug my ears, you know, because <laughs> probably ain't too doggone far. But as long as he don't plug my ears and uh, he be he be nice, we'll get along fine. But yeah, man, I had to go over there, dude, and uh, man, shoot, we I've seen a lot of crazy things. Forty, check me out. I go over to Dude's house, little guy's house, man, the golfer. That's what we called him. His handle is the golfer. I can't remember the number that we come up with today. 
but yeah, we're going to call him the golfer because that's what he does. 17 years old, plays golf. Evidently, he does pretty good about what I'm hearing. But, uh, man, he had some crazy stuff going on, man. He had a doggone uh, bracket hooked up to plastic. You feel what I'm saying, Ford? He had plastic brackets. He had his brackets up against the plastic liner of his pick-em-up truck. And he had them doggone tennis right up, a, up against the back of that doggone cab. I thought, whoa, 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 man. We got some problems here. <laughs> he had his ground line for his radio to a plastic, the, what was that, the air, the air cleaner box to a metal bolt, you know, but the rest of it was plastic. I'm like, well, there's where your bird chirps coming from. Oh, nope, that wasn't it. Next thing you know, I, I, I put a good bound eyeball on where he got them uh, antenna brackets at. That's all on plastic. He got a hold of me earlier today. He said, hey, how am I sounding now? I said, dude, you 10 eight. you know? I basically told him he was 10 eight, man. I told him, but let's be 110% sure when you got time, swing by the household. I'll grab the meters up out of here, slap them all in line, make sure everything, you know, is absolutely 110% 10 eight here, buddy. <laughs> Yeah. 